Hi, and welcome to another episode of Mr. Puzzle. Today we're going to talk about the impossible 10 penny puzzle, which is this one here. And I call it actually impossible because it looks like an impossible object, or it looks like they how like it's impossible, or the, like there's not enough space inside of this square to place an additional penny here. The puzzle is made by the company Creative Craft House from the US. And it's a pretty minimalistic puzzle, and this is actually what I like on this one. It's not complicated, it does not look, I don't know, outstanding or incredibly difficult or whatever. It looks very min minimalistic, just a square with nine pennies inside, and this one that you need to place also inside of the square in addition to the other ones. I bought this puzzle in here at the local store in Germany, and um, you can probably get it all around the world. I will double check where you can get it and I will put you the link in the description where you can buy it, of course. If you buy it and you don't want to watch the solution for this puzzle, stop at the spoiler break. If you buy it, take care. The, um, the, it comes with this letter and on the rear side of this letter there is um, unfortunately the solution printed. So if you turn it around and unbox a little bit too fast, turn it around, you are able to see the solution. So don't watch this one if you buy this puzzle. The difficulty of this puzzle I would rate with a difficulty of about... Yeah, for me it was not too difficult actually. I, I will give it a 2 out of a maximum of 5. I solved it pretty quick and within some minutes and my uh, solution is exactly the same one as in the in the um, solution, but only mirrored. I'm not sure if there are any more solutions for this puzzle. If yes, if you find some other solutions than the one I show you here, let me know in the comments. Okay, so after the spoiler break, I will show you how to solve the 10 penny puzzle. Okay, so... There is of course only one solution and this can be done pretty quick. I just will show you the problem. So if you move the parts, I don't know, somewhere and try to somehow create some space for the remaining coin like this, it will, there is always a little bit too much here to be able to fit in. You see this little interference here? just a little too much to get in. So it needs to be get in without force, of course. I could brute force it in now. And the puzzle is theoretically also solved, but I will not do it, of course. So the solution I found, and which is also shown on the solution page, looks actually the following. You need to place these four pieces here. You need to place, I think, the another two pieces over here and then you will create some gap down here or up there let's see no also an interference so now i need to really challenge myself to remember the solution let's check again these four are right then we have i think one down here, ah yeah, now it looks better. And now let's see if it gets in by all alone. Yep, it does, it's in, you can see it. And this looks, it looks pretty weird and pretty uh, chaotic here, like it's arranged, but this is actually the only, I tried a little bit longer and this is actually the only possibility I found how to get it in here. Pretty interesting one, pretty, interesting solution and also as you saw hard to remember so i think this is a pretty cool um, present to someone who's not that familiar with puzzles to just um, give him a small challenge or this is also some classic party puzzle let's say that you can put on a table on a party and everyone will try it and it's it will it will create some conversation you know and this is also nice about puzzling. If you like this episode just hit the like button below this video or if you would like to stay informed about further videos and um, news in the community tab just hit the bell you can follow me on facebook and instagram and also support me on patreon whatever you want until next time keep on puzzling